as you can see <clears throat> that's uh, my profile over here and uh, this is uh, my um, match history so far you can check this out so it shows the mat name map name type of uh, the match match date or time to be precise how many days ago the match was played and uh, that's all pretty much there are a couple of matches against the AI many custom matches to all types however for me one versus one is uh, well the most important one because um, that um, is uh, where I actually have my best games that's the ladder over here unfortunately my ladder is still locked as you can see very tight behind these wall doors I'm not sure what these three stand for maybe chose my my previous leagues that's the current season this section contains all your divisions for the current season when you get placed into a division you may access it by clicking on the navigation on the left 2018 season 1 January 24th May 16th so that's the season right here Grandmaster started January 31 2018 <clears throat> season lock May 9th that's the Grandmaster right here versus one were one versus one contenders so 2000 season one were one versus one one versus one uh, Grandmaster contender so this league is uh, a really really big deal an absolute blast so these are 23 best players here I bet on the European server I'm currently connected to a European server here it shows when the player has joined the division and it looks like it got quite a few points here I'm not still sure what these points actually stand for here and um, what is it all about? About the Grandmaster League. The Grandmaster League is an exclusive league with limited open slots where the top StarCraft 2 players in each region can compete against each other to test their metal. Qualification is determined after the first week in the season. After the first weekend, it must play on more match, play one more match in order to receive their promotion. Grandmaster rankings are calculated daily thus players below the MMR cutoff will be demoted from Grandmaster to make room for those who are above the required MMR threshold. Players positioned for a spot in Grandmaster will be placed into a contender list where they can more easily view the players battling for a coveted slot in the next Grandmaster promotion. The moted players will have a window of time in the contender list to earn their spot back before the rankings are calculated for the day. In order to retain a spot in Grandmaster, a minimum of 30 games every 3 weeks must be played. Bonus pool is not accumulated in Grandmaster. If a player is inactive, they will be automatically demoted and the more active combatant will fill the empty slot. Congratulations to all those qualified in the Grandmasters League and good luck. Okay, let's go on career summary. It looks like there is nothing here. Race report. Nothing so far. Because they haven't played league matches whatsoever. No map report. So these are the main maps. Placements. Friends. Ladders last season Grandmaster. So this is where we exactly been here already. Trophy case nothing and no reviews whatsoever. Now interesting thing, I wonder what these pawns here stand for. So Protas, Terran, total career games, 
93, turn on level 37. So, interesting thing, there are players who play tens of thousands of games. Okay. So, games played 10, turn on men's 5. That's uh, 2018 season 1. Co op missions. What else do we have here? It looks like that's all. And these points, I think this is the MMR points. So if we go to the ladder, Grandmaster, we see that some of them have a lot more points. All right. It looks like that's all for statistics. That's the chat right here. It looks like I'm in some interesting chat here with only a few people. I'm not sure. <laughs> this is some kind of a Bizzle Reef chat. <clears throat> I'm not uh, entirely sure how exactly did I uh, end up there. As you can see, I can, uh, with the relative bees, change things up a little. I'm uh, certainly in the European region right now. That's my current time right here. And uh, <clears throat> unfortunately, I do not see a way here for me to <laughs> change the chat. All chat, busy brief chat. Unfortunately, there is no European chat or something like that. In any case, it looks like uh, I'll just have to um, uh, look into this. How can I move on to a different chat? Maybe now I'm in a different chat? No, I'm still in the same chat. Okay, so far so good. <clears throat> Let's move on to another unranked match and um, play will be facing Protoss in this game okay so far so good and now we already have a build here I already have a build and it pretty much focuses on marine marauders medivacs and uh, sometimes it works Sometimes it doesn't work. It depends. It depends and it depends a lot For example the last match I was completely devastated by uh, Three storms. I had no stim. Maybe things would have been just slightly different with stim and then um, I was in uh, serious trouble with um, A Dark Templar that I wasn't able to notice. Obviously, these uh, must be noticed. Now, I'm going for a command center here. When I play, I tend to kind of think that uh, I'm not going to suffer from early aggression. So, that's the thing. Because if I suffer from moral aggression, I'm as good as dead. It's that simple, really. And now it looks like I didn't... Did not... Um, for the 
three units into the refinery and due to that I'm suddenly unable to um, do things differently. Now I'm playing with a mouse speed that's just slightly a little bit um, Oh look at that! Did I just didn't build a command, the orbital command? I thought I built an orbital command. I have no idea <laughs> where all that money went. In any case, let's just uh, continue build up. I'm uh, going for uh, another uh, barracks and uh, this uh, baby right there. So. Um, now, one thing's for sure, I don't want to end up uh, getting myself supply blocked here. Okay, and dropping that mule would be just fine. Now, this mouse right here is so much more, uh, so much more uh, sensitive. It's, I think, at 1800 or 1600 for mouse speed. Don't remember how exactly it's, it's called, unfortunately. But um, it's it's awesome. Okay, now we can now focus a little bit on, on things here. And the starport. Now, obviously, starport would require some uh, serious gas investment, and uh, hopefully, that's going to come. Now more marines <coughs> should come in and uh, I need to drop <coughs> that precious mule. Okay. Now my tanks sooner or later, or later will start uh, popping out too. Okay, now uh, let's go with that starport. And... Uh, and all in all, things are uh, just fine. It looks like it's quiet on the western front here for me. Okay, I'm building more SCVs. Now, just got supply blocked. Oh no. Okay, then um, we'll go with that right there. And uh, more Marines. Uh, it looks like I have successfully wall this off <laughs> without uh, actually even uh, wanting to do that okay it looks like it's great that I can uh, line up everything alright now what do I want next it looks like I want more barracks and uh, that's pretty much that's pretty much it Okay, and give me more marines. Okay, now an orbital command could be useful here. I'm still not sure just uh, what kind of speed I should build it, however, hopefully, I'm not uh, mowing too far away. Okay, so now the brush is dim and uh, uh, the important shields should finish okay and I think I could already move myself a couple of medivacs and I'm already having a tank ready more um, upgrade facilities here so that's the armory and I'm soon going to be supply blocked again if I end up being supply blocked, obviously things will go things will go south very very quickly. Sour south. And um, now that uh, I have successfully filled up, let's go on here and build ourselves the third command center. Mm, for some reason, I have. Uh, well, two of these. Okay. So far, so good. 
Now this tank, this tank can get the hell out of here. So we'll just have to. Oh, look at that! I messed up here. In any case, let's land it somewhere, somewhere else. I need my tanks to move through. And um, let's uh, drop more mules. Now I want everything to go in there, in here. Okay, you could as well build me more stuff. I need more medivacs too. It looks like these gas geysers, unfortunately for me were not built and I would like to actually even know what the hell is my opponent up to by now I need to increase my um, my upgrades however I'm just simply not getting enough gas to do that okay first things first I'm gonna go with an orbital here and everybody else can build the marines and uh, Obviously, let's take a look. Does he have a third base? It looks like he does not have a third base. However, um, it's unclear. Huh. Okay. Let's uh, get these guys out of that. And uh, <clears throat> oh, look at that money! All this money. Oh, what happened to this tank? It looks like this tank got stuck too. What a mess! Oh, look, it didn't got stuck. Oh, what's this wrong with it? Oh, it did got stuck. Oh no, I can't build any more tanks. It looks like it. So let's not build any more tanks then. Okay. Now let's see what does he have here. Okay, it looks like it uh, does give me an opportunity here to to move out and uh, I'm going to do just that. And now everybody should uh, should go forward and uh, we'll, oh look at that we'll be successfully moving on through the base and skimming into this now in here we're facing a carrier and uh, oh wow can't believe this we're successfully blasting through this Okay, we need to kill off those uh, interceptors here. Oh wow, there's so many, so many. Okay. Whew. So far so good, surprisingly. His ability here to... Um, to do this right, it just didn't work out. Let's take out the pylons so that more carriers wouldn't show up. Okay, more pylons should be taken out here. And uh, let's further engage uh, his base. Uh, I still know that he has many, many carriers here, as you can see. I even steamed through here so that I would make sure he certainly ends up being destroyed. Okay. Does he have more bases? I don't know. But one thing is for sure I do certainly have enough uh, resources here to move forward. And I need massive number of medevacs. So um, let's let's go let's go. No point in uh, in stopping. He probably has more stuff somewhere out there. 
Okay, he does. So, um... Okay, looks like these guys need to start steaming through here. 